highlighting 20 <laughs> candy shops in 20 central Indiana areas in 2020. So, Carlos, the next place you're about to show has a real gift with chocolate in particular. What's going on? Well, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up, guys, and everybody's looking for, you know, chocolate for their loved ones. But I visited Donaldson's Finer Chocolates in Lebanon. They've been making chocolates for decades, and I've met a couple that I love, Bob and Kathy Donaldson. And I came to find out that chocolate brought them together. We're coming into the kitchens where all the chocolates are made. This is Kathy, my wife. She's in the process of preparing to make peppermint bark. We met it in high school. Uh, he sat in front of me in Spanish class, and uh, every morning he would come cook here before school. And so um, every morning I'd kind of lean forward, and he would smell like vanilla or maple or whatever he was making that morning. So, yeah, I was kind of attracted to him. I love chocolate. So. <laughs> And he is hand dipping pecan delights. Today, those are turtles. Those are caramel with pecans. How long has your family owned this business? Since 1966. This is an enrober, and this is where they put the chocolates on at the start, and it puts the bottom on the chocolate. So this goes down and goes under the coating curtain. Mick puts a little top on it, and then it goes into the cooling tunnel. Nancy, you've been accused of eating the chocolate. Is that true? It's an investigative piece, Nancy. Answer the question, Nancy. <laughs> Yes, yes, I have. We have a full line of buttercreams that we make that's just on this top shelf. All different flavors. Coffee is popular here. And then we get into some of our caramels, which we're very much known for. We have pecan delights, like a turtle. And we do all kinds of nut clusters. And the lower shelf shows us some barks that we make. For the peanut butter lovers, we have peanut butter pieces, some various mint pieces, and then we coat fruit pieces. We also have a sugar-free selection. We have probably 60 or 70 pieces we do here. It is a chocolate company. We do all chocolates. What is Mr. Donaldson's favorite chocolate at Donaldson's? I do tend to love the nuts, so I, I eat a lot of dark almond. The caramels are great here, too. It's hard for me to say. I change my mind every week. <laughs> I love Bob. He's amazing. And basically, if you want to visit some great chocolate shops in northern Indiana, we showed you southern Indiana last half hour. Here's some great chocolate shops in northern Indiana. You don't have to go too far to Lebanon to visit Donaldson's Finer Chocolates right up there, right off of Interstate 65. And uh, we're going to show you central Indiana coming up at 645. But, uh, Julia, I'm dying to know, as you have chocolates there from Donaldson's, so do you have any memories growing up in Lebanon of hanging out at, uh, at Donaldson's Finer Chocolates? I do. My mom would always get us things from, for Easter from there. And I, I do remember that they always had a map on the wall mm. of, you know, the United yes. States. And that you'd put a little pin in for if you were wherever you were coming from. Right Is up that the still interstate there, there yeah. 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 And, and now, and Julia, real quick, now it's not just the United States, it's all over the world. They have wow. a world map now. They had Australia, Greenland, Iceland, all these people from all over the world coming in. Uh, so proud of their success, and it's going to continue, we know, especially landing on this list. And thank you for the chocolates this morning. Yeah, I don't know you. how you'd work in a chocolate shop and not eat everything in sight. That's it why you had to press so that worker, Carlos. You had to ask place. her what she was doing. Because it would be impossible. That I wonder what one of the uh, the so stores that was on the list mm -hmm. uh, of Northern Indiana is Lowry's in Muncie. And as okay. you guys know, for 30 years I've done oh, the man. weather every morning at WLBC in Muncie. <laughs> they send me every Christmas Lowry's candies oh, yeah. uh, mm. as a Christmas gift. And boy, they, it goes like that in our house. Well, you yeah. gotta have one of these things. I mean, you gotta do the weather. Like mine has peanut butter in it, so I shouldn't talk. So you take over. And well, tell you us guys what's going on? Yeah, just. Just to hold down on the smacking while I'm doing this, but 